The overall goal of this procedure is to observe fluorescently labeled bacterial symbionts within their nematode host. This is accomplished by first labeling the bacteria with a fluorescent protein through conjugation. The second step is to isolate azenic nematodes by harvesting eggs. Next, the azenic nematodes are grown in combination with their fluorescently labeled bacterial symbiont to allow natural association. Ultimately, the localization of the bacterial symbiont within the nematode host and the frequency of this association within the nematode population can be determined by fluorescence microscopy. This method can help answer key questions in the symbiosis field, such as where do bacteria localize within their host, and what is the distribution of bacterial carriage across a host population? After overnight growth of the bacterial strains, subculture the donor, recipient, and helper strains into nutrient-rich growth media lacking antibiotics in a 1 to 100 ratio of culture to medium. Then grow the cultures at the temperature appropriate for each strain until they reach mid-log stage growth. Next, combine the strains in a single microcentrifuge tube and centrifuge the mixed cultures for two minutes at 17,900 Gs. Decant the supernatant and resuspend the pellet in 30 microliters of fresh media. Then spot the suspension onto a nutrient-rich media plate without any antibiotics and allow the spot to dry. When the suspension has dried, Incubate the plate, inverted, overnight at a temperature optimal for the recipient bacterium and permissible for the donor and helper, if applicable. Now scrape up the spot and streak for single colonies on a selective antibiotic plate. To obtain a pure culture of bacteria, streak a single colony for isolation. Finally, ensure